Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of dilations. This is standard 8.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got quadrilateral PQRS. So that's this big one out here. Looks like a square, but they don't name it a square. They just name it a quadrilateral. It's dilated with the origin as the center of the dilation to create quadrilateral, the smaller one here, PQRS prime. Also looks like a square but not 100% sure. The coordinates of each vertex are integers. All right, so that's helpful. If we needed to plot anything here, we know that each coordinate, we can actually you know, put some points on there if we needed to. All right, so which statement is true? All right, each side length of quadrilateral PQRS, so that's the big one. I'm going to just put big for PQRS. Uh, just because that's a lot of P, Q, R's, and S's. And the only difference are these little tiny marks they've got right there. All right, so the big one is the P, Q, R, S. The small one is the P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime. So each side length of quadrilateral P, Q, R, S, the big one, is one half the corresponding side length of the small one, the prime one. The big, each side of the big is half of the small. No, no, that's opposite. If these two were switched, maybe. Visually, does it look like it? Yes, but the problem is, here's the problem, is they're all diagonals. If these weren't rotated, if these uh, were uh, just normal ones, you know, that were right on the lines like that. We could easily calculate that. If I wanted to calculate the side length, well, I'm going to have to go Pythagorean theorem all over the place, right? So I'm going to have to create little triangles here, figure out what this hypotenuse is, do it with this one as well, figure out this hypotenuse, and I'm not even sure it's a square. So I might have to calculate that for each and every side length. It's a lot of work, but either way, it's not what we need to do here because they flip those. So quadrilateral PQRS prime, the small one, is congruent to the big one. No. Congruent is same size, same shape. And that is an incorrect. It is similar, so that is the same shape, different size. That's what dilation does. Dilation gives you similar shapes, but not congruent shapes. C, each angle measure of quadrilateral PQRS, that's the big one, is the corresponding, half the corresponding angle measure of P, no. The angles don't change. Angles can stay the same whether you dilate it times 100 or divide it by 100. The angles stay the same. The side lengths are what change to one half or whatever. These are all, just at least visually speaking, they look like right angles. You're not going to get half of one. If you dilate something, it doesn't go from a 90 degree angle to a 45 degree angle. Let's hope it's D. Quadrilateral, PQRS prime. There we go. Similar. Just what we said right up here. So different words similar to congruent. Yes, they are similar. Same shape that is proportional to another shape, but not the exact same size. These two are similar. That's what a dilation does. So our answer here is D.